Well, we're always thrilled to talk to head coach Turner Gill, even more so today after that big win against Baylor. Uh, coach, first, congrats on a huge win for the program. Uh, thank you. To God be the glory. Absolutely. I want to know in your mind, was there a moment in that game where you felt maybe the, the tide shifted a little bit, maybe the momentum shifted, or, or a critical moment that the game kind of hinged on for you? I mean, there were so many things that were going on in the game. I don't know if there was one specific moment. Yeah. Uh, if I had to say something kind of define it maybe a little bit, it was maybe the first drive. Not to say I knew we were going to win the football game there, but we drove the ball down the field a little bit. I liked the way our offense was moving and everybody was ready to go and all that. Uh, so I thought that was huge at that point in time. But I had to say another defining play was probably when the touchdown that Buckshot ran in. Yeah. Uh, that was maybe a little bit more of a moment at that point in time to say uh, we got some good things going. I know you had a few words about that high stepping, but we won't get into that. Uh, Buckshot obviously gets most of the attention for good reason with the type of record-setting day that he had. But the offensive line, they were a group that a lot of people had question marks about coming into the season. They played so well. What can you say about the line and how they were able to, I guess you want to say bounce back or, or come in with a chip on their shoulder after so many people have been talking about them in the offseason? Well, I got to add uh, Aaron Stam, yeah. the offensive line coach, that made a little bit of a change there as far as he was a tight ends coach, moved into the offensive line. Second year with Coach Daly, sure. the offensive coordinator. So I think the combination of those two people put together those things and uh, really Thomas Sargent, our center, yeah. you know, he hadn't played a snap. <laughs> Here I am say he could yeah. get him in Baylor. And he did a heck of a job. 104 snaps. Um, they played extremely well. Uh, without those guys, Buckshot and all the other things that occurred would have not have happened if it hadn't been those guys playing on the same page. So yeah. I have to give a lot of credit to Aaron Stan. He did a fantastic job coaching those guys up. Well, we're spreading the love around. I know you've never been shy about throwing some Coach Bill Gillespie's way, but down the stretch of that ball game, you guys looked like you were wearing down their defense in games like this it's generally expected that it will be the other way around. The depth and experience, athleticism of the FBS school will start to wear them down. Not the case with you guys. It looked like you were the better conditioned team. Well, uh, you, you said it on the nose there as far as Bill Gillespie and the offseason program and also the players. Yeah. You, you know, they were dedicated to do what they needed to do as far as preparing themselves for this ball game. Uh, we had some cool weather here and stuff of that nature. But again, it was a mental mindset. And we talked about the mentality. Uh, mind over your physical aspect sure. of thing. If you can handle the mental part of it, then your body's going to take care of it. God has made our body where we can do a lot more than what you actually think you can do. And so we just talked about that, and I'm proud of the way they hung in there. Again, 105 snaps. I didn't anticipate that. <laughs> and our guys executed yeah. to the best of their ability and did very, very well. How can you quantify what a win like this means to your program and even beyond that to Liberty University as a whole? Well, I think it's, uh, it's, it's just unfathomable as far as what's going on right now, the exposure yeah. about Liberty University. And that's what this is about. It's not just about football. It's about Liberty University to have an opportunity to know what is this university about it, faith-based. We want all the people who are Protestants yeah. <laughs> to be a part of this Liberty University, to strongly consider that they want to have their son or their daughter to at least look at that. Then yeah. let the Holy Spirit take care of the rest to say yes you need to go to Liberty University. And so this game, that's what it's done for the whole university. I thank the President Falwell for all the things that he continues to do for our football program, more importantly for the university. You've said before that sometimes handling success is more difficult than handling adversity. Well, your team's handling a whole lot of success after that win. I'm sure they're hearing about it from friends and family they haven't heard from in years. Has that been a message? Will that be a message this week? How are we going to handle the success that we experienced. Well, no question about it. I kind of started right after the game yeah. there. I didn't give them a whole lot of chance yeah. to, to celebrate per se. It's saying I, I did not want this game to be a defining moment or the actual only mm -hmm. moment in our whole season. We still got a long season to go, proud of what has occurred, yeah. uh, but also trying to teach them about the bigger picture because that's what life's about. You got to learn about what the bigger picture is. And this is a classic example to say, what's the bigger picture for Liberty University, yeah. the Liberty University football program as we move forward and we honor God in everything we do. We turn it forward now. You get Moorhead State in your home opener this week. They played and took care of an NAI opponent in their first ball game. As you look at them on film, what have you seen? What are their strengths? Well, the quarterback, uh, very, very efficient. Uh, he can run the ball there some. Very, very efficient as far as his passing accuracy. Uh, has two pretty good receivers. Uh, they got a punt return there. They can do some things of that nature. So they were very, very efficient, just like we were yeah. with Baylor on their offensive side of the ball. They were very efficient the same way where they were. So 
we're in a similar situation is like Baylor on the opposite side of it is say, well, okay, you're playing a team that you're supposed to beat. Yeah. Um, and so we already know. We've been on, yeah. on the side of it. So our guys going to be ready to play. We're excited to play football, play games. And then we're excited to play in front of our, our fans. Sure. So that's going to be a driving force for us, and we're looking forward to seeing our fans and hearing them. You threw it 60 times. I know that's not always going to be the recipe for success. Do you feel like establishing the run in this game will be critical? And Carrington Mosley had a fantastic night against Baylor as well. Yeah, yeah. We, we want to be um, hopefully a little bit more balanced. Yeah. Uh, we want to make sure we average at least four yards a carry uh, really for the rest of the season. That's sure. what we want to strive for. And so we'll see. But again, whatever it takes to win, we're, we're going to do that. So I feel very, very good about where we're at. I feel good about where we're going. I'm excited to see how we're going to respond because this is one of those games where you don't know. Yeah, I'm going to say all the right things and all those kind of things yeah. of that nature, but you never know. I got 18 to 22 year old young men and how they're going to respond here on Saturday afternoon, but I know they're ready to play in front of this crowd. Well, Coach, congrats on the win. You can't start a season much better than you guys did on Saturday. Congrats, and we look forward to seeing what's happening. All righty, thank you. We appreciate it. Yes, sir.